Hello, Steamboat. It's me, TC. Coming to you live from the Chief Theater in downtown Steamboat Springs on a beautiful Monday during spring break. Now, you would think everybody except us took off and we've got a few restaurants and the core trail to ourselves, but no. The strings people are still here because there's things to do and improv to be created and shows to be talked about and marketed. So, our Inside Source has sent me Katie Carroll. Come on down. Bam, bam, ba -da. We gotta get that theme music. Hello. Oh my God. <laughs> you did I'm it. on the show. Did you think you would ever get on? No. I never did. <laughs> and you came in the back door. Yeah. Well, I was just following directions from the production director. <laughs> They do, they do give good directions. Just making sure you're still on your toes. I am, you didn't Laser throw me focus. off too bad. Um, what do you think of our studio? It's phenomenal. Right? There's a full studio audience right this, here. And which how is quiet just are they? How, the amazing. Amazing. <laughs> but the energy, the silent energy, I'm just <laughs> absorbing. We told them you were serious, a serious mm -hmm. actress, yes. singer, and you like your space sometimes, like no green M&Ms, mm -hmm. only red Skittles. Exactly. So they said that Patty Zimmer's the only one I've concerned about. She will blow it out occasionally, so. Yeah, she's a wild card. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get. You never know. You never know, especially during political times. Oh, wow. You know, she's got that inside source, that clean chick, so she knows. <laughs> Heard stories. Um, so how about you? What are you doing? It's spring break. It's spring break. Why aren't you on a yacht? Somewhere? I'm not on a yacht because I am working at Strings Music Festival. What? And at Strings, we only have vacation after the festival. Really? <laughs> Which is not until August. 25th. So you work all the way up until August 25th. Correct. And then we take our official sanctioned vacation. Thank goodness for Alyssa Green. <laughs> we get the week. Okay, now rumor has it you guys have an all-star crew over there at Strings now. That's right. Can you tell the people that you've acquired recently through free agency and trades? Yes, uh, I spent a lot of free agency, a yeah. lot of conniving. Like yeah. Lombardi couldn't have done what Alyssa Green did. That's all I'm saying. It's like she went to the negotiation table I know, it's almost like she went to, you know, a wishing well and just was like... Are you sure she's not mafia related and made some offers that people couldn't refuse, possibly? Uh, you know, I never really thought about that because she's from Wisconsin. I know. So... They got a market on cheese out there. I guess so. See what she's... She's down we'll, with the cheese. We'll group. see what cheese says. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. She did that. Who are your new people? So you we've got Les Wong who joined our team. How? Um well Les retired from Smartwool. Les. And um yeah, he had a great winter. He worked at the Hayden Airport. Yeah. Throwing bags, having a good time. And then one day, um and you know, he and Alyssa connected and was excited about strings yeah. and we had an opening so um, it was sort of crafted differently to suit Les's amazing talents. Which is? Um, everything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> everything. Um, oh my gosh, he's so great and meticulous and detail oriented. What do you have him like doing? I what's his title? A lot from what's him. His, he's what's our office manager. Office manager. In charge of systems, office operations. So keeping you guys in line. Okay. Yep. Good luck, Les. He's great. He's already moved around the front, so it's much more open. Do you have like exciting. feng shui in there now? Yes. Because there was sometimes better. like you walk in and there's people hiding over here and you might get He's a... no longer hidden. Really? Les that... has brought himself out of hiding, <laughs> aka changed everything about his, you know, people who previously sat up there. Yeah. Well so, played, Les. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I hear you got a guy by the name of Yoshi. We got Yoshi. How the heck did you get Yoshi? Oh gosh, was it difficult. He, Yoshi is a man of many talents. Right? He's a steamboat renaissance man. Yeah. Did and he, he came to negotiation with some terms, I'm sure. He did. You know, uh, we all know Yoshi you yes. know, loves to take photographs. Yes. Play video games. Yes. Help the theater at the yes. high school. Yes. And uh, he laid it all out there. And um, he has joined our team. He'll be on the team full time through the summer. And um, then everyone in town cross your fingers. Here we go. Us. Here we go. Let's get. Yeah, that he'll like it so much he'll stay. But um, I know that it's a he, maybe right now. Um, well, no, it's not a maybe. Okay. It's just a uh, no, you know, like when CBS won't take him again, and all, right. all the things change, and you know he might have a job offer to go work, you know, in Hollywood. Who knows? Okay. Yoshi. As long as Melissa Asridge doesn't scoop him up and yeah, bring like him out of steamboat, does something great during one of these shows coming up. 
Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. I better make, okay. You guys should sabotage a show Just every a once in a while and blame it on Yoshi so, so that looks the talent is like, God, why is that guy here? It's a good idea. Okay. I didn't even think about that. Do that, because that. that's the only way you're going to keep them. These guys do that to me all the time. Oh, do they? Yeah, they make it They want to like, keep you? Yeah. Okay. So well, that, that must feel comfortable. I've been trying to win a Tony Award for 22 years now. Really? Yeah. And Tony still hasn't I think they keep, Tony like, they keep saying they're going to send the votes in, but because mm. the producers have to send in the, right. we recommend him. I can't vote for myself. Mm-mm. Anyone else you got on staff? We do. Yeah, I know. We have a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, we have a new development director. Yeah. Nancy Anglekin. Uh, How the heck did you guys do it? I think it was sort of... So I've been watching some bad movies this weekend. The Mummy, X-Men Apocalypse. Oh, time, 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 time. Don't go to the movie minute yet. I'll keep you for that because we're Well, I just was that. saying I've been inspired by watching these films about ancient Egypt because I sort of feel like there must have been some kind of like Moses, Prince of Egypt, Brendan Fraser oh. magic <laughs> because oh, I see. it was really um, just a mystery in the stars that like, sort of lined boom, out at the boom, perfect boom, time. Boom, boom. Yeah. So there is um, And exciting, I'm not jealous. I'm excited, but I'm just in awe. There's exciting energy yeah. in the space. I mean, it is a trailer, so now it's like threatening to blow the roof off. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be magic. So, so you got Nancy, Nancy doesn't start until mid bay. So um she's on spring break. <laughs> <laughs> of course. All the great ones are. Of course. Right? Those <laughs> but of the us really excellent ones stay behind to hold on the the ship. Keep it going. Like you guys go play. Right. Your city and town will be fine when you come home. That's right. Because you left it in good hands. Because we are Ultron. <laughs> We, well, okay, now wait, is that all? Is that, you got those four? Is that fours? all? Yes, those are our three new, uh, yeah. new people. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, go ahead. Um, we have a new stage manager. Yeah. <laughs> McKendry McGowan. Thank you, McKendry. McKendry. I believe she was there for Dancing with the Stars. Was she? Was she? I think she was. I, I did not go to Dancing oh, you didn't with make the it. Stars. Well, it sold out. Oh! It sold out, and I had to buy a ticket, and, uh... Yeah, what happened? Didn't make it? Well, you know, Salt and Lime does a mean late-night happy hour. <laughs> and just all my $35 just went to more margaritas. Well, I performed. I know you performed. It I was won. Great. I won. I heard that. Judge's choice. Why but are you the, winking at the camera? Because Give the, someone a little... Yeah. Dancing with the stars oh. and strings. Because the venue is incredible. Mm -hmm. Like, I just, it was awesome. And Yoshi and McKendry and that whole crew was amazing. And I can't wait to be a judge next year. I think it'll be a killer judge. Yeah. Are you going to participate? In Dancing with the Stars? Yeah. Well, here I am on Boom. live TV, ready Kay. for your invitation. Hey, Katie, what do you think about performing on Dancing with the Stars next year? I think I can do it. There's my plug, because they told us this post past contestants we were supposed to try and recruit. Oh. Here's my star recruit. If there's helpful knowledge, I participated in a high school musical mashup mm -hmm. for a youngster's birthday party and I have a great jazz work. You do? Okay. Smile. We got a couple minutes real quick. Movie minute. <clears throat> the mummy you saw was with Brandon Fraser. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh. Nix that one. See the Tom Cruise remake. J give it a try. Rachel you Weiss. The yeah. sexy librarian? Yeah, she was great. But Brendan, you didn't you didn't dig it so much, right? Well, he's sort of an odd guy. Okay, so give the Tom Cruise mummy a chance because there's a, there's a lady in there. She's she's got Rachel. She gives Rachel a run. All okay. Right. And now you tried to say something about Avengers. Yeah. No, Ultron for you? Like, was that a, you? Are you okay with it? Oh, Ultron. Yeah. I'm okay with Ultron. Yeah. But I've watched uh, Captain America: Civil War recently and yeah. Thor three. Yeah. Ragnarok. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ragnarok, great. Tone is different. It was weird. Didn't know you had a sister, did you? No. Especially not Kate Blanchett. But <laughs> Civil War threw me. Why? Captain America is my favorite character. Yeah. And like all of his movies are about his heart of gold and friendship. Yep, but. That movie lost it. It should have been. He was a jerk, wasn't he? Yeah. And it should have been about Iron Man and Bucky mm. and Captain America. And instead they get all this sideways stuff with the war. Did you like Spider-Man, a little sprinkle of Spider-Man, the young Spider-Man? I, I do like the new young Spider-Man. Okay. He's pretty cute. He's and pretty uh, tell, me, tell me you dig my man Black Panther. Of course I do. Wakanda forever. Okay. 
So you're down with that? You saw your Black Panther? Well, no. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, I, I need a bootleg version before the end of the month, quick. Yeah! I, I didn't know. I didn't know that Marvel would do this to me. You Why wouldn't they release on DVD so that people could buy before the next release? They need to make a lot of money first. <sighs> oh, is that oh. our timer? I, I guess so. It sounds like Ragnarok's coming. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna check out the new Mummy with Tom Cruise. You're mm -hmm. gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Um, will you come back? Maybe we can keep a little pluck the strings. I would regularly. love to do that. I would love to talk about strings. I'm very excited. He hasn't told me to wrap it up yet. What's coming up? Uh, May nineteenth, yeah. Justin Roberts family concert, Grammy nominated and nom. Oh boy, hold on, <laughs> hold on, and scene. What's coming up next? May 19th, Justin Roberts and the Not Ready for Nap Time duo, Grammy nominated group for families, Bring Coop. Yes. And then we open June 22nd with BUSTIX, all caps, and June 23rd with orchestra followed by champagne reception. Wow. Are you excited for your summer lineup? Very. Always. Always. Well, yeah. I'm just... No, actually. You're not a little bummed with a couple. You got any surprises? Anything you can't mention because of contractual obligations? Uh, See how keep an that. eye out on what we release in the book for September. Oh, there it is. Katie Carroll, improv? Chief players? Yes. You're going to help Denova maybe find someone? Find true love. Okay. Or one night. Come back see us again? I will. Great to see you. Katie Carroll, check her out. Hello, Steamboat. We'll be right back.